95.5 FM Vegas. Tell us your name, your location, and sing your truth. Honestly, I am not happy. I am not happy with this country at all. I did very well you come for my set. Oh, ah, 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 so what then? I get the different type of pay for your zone. Mm. I get the one I steal money, I call that one father kids. The one I kiss somebody, I call a mother kids. Come on, which one I want to make a bring it to you? Boy. I can very well. Oh yeah, you know the kind of one why Oh God, so low. Get them plenty, plenty. Give me that one where your list like. Bring up. Do fast, do fast, do fast. That's a look. I like this one, baby. Somebody. Oh, that's a look. Oh, that's a look. Make a branch for you. No, 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 no. That's a look. Mark you for the change. Keep the change. Ah, yeah, you're better. Somebody. After you, I'm still you. Oh, that's a look. 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 Oh, the paragon of beauty. I'm entertaining a queen. Royalty in my own house. No, no, please. Thank you. You comfortable? Yeah. Right, which do I start with? Uh, do I, um, okay, let me start with this one. Uh, you know, Safety Child Foundation is really, really lucky to have you. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the best graduates from Harvard and Columbia universities, top of the class. You know, they must be very grateful to have you. And not only that, given your background, very, very commendable achievements you've made. <laughs> Why do you keep trying to widow me? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, nothing to do with me. I only bring up the case of the rape case of Hannah, okay. wherein you demolished <laughs> the opposition in court <laughs> and got that wonderful judgment. Hmm. What else? <laughs> Don't be so sure. My heart was racing a million miles per hour. Honestly. Well, I'm sure your brain cells were racing at a billion miles per hour oh. because what you did in that place, I mean, you have single-handedly influenced child protection policies, not only the state, the local government levels, but the state levels and even the national levels. Whoa! <laughs> That's such an amazing feat. <laughs> I have a cold feet. No, I'm not. It's so disheartening, you know. Mm -hmm. People that engage in these wicked acts. They care nothing about the emotional trauma they inflict on these victims. Not just them, but their families and their communities. I totally agree. Absolutely agree. But you know one thing I've noticed? Another thing I've noticed? We didn't come here to talk about this. We are here to enjoy the efforts I've put in to make a wonderful meal 
for Her Royal Majesty, oh, nice. Zara. This looks nice. It does. Does it taste nice? Well, in Igbo land, we have a saying. Hmm. Anya What does that mean? It means the eyes yeah. decide for the mouth whether it's going to like it or not. So since you like it, let's see what you think of the taste. Oh, please, I said it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Have some salad. Want to serve yourself? It's really nice. You like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some more coming. Mm -hmm. Try some salad. Do you like it? Take you to a good hospital so you can get good treatment, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, my daughter. Amen. And I pray that God will make all your prayers come to pass. I'll be fine. Ja, 
Ask me. Jasmine! Get food for this house. Don't you have something to eat in this house? Food? Are you asking me? <laughs> what did you do? What are you doing? Would you get me something to eat? Come give me food. Come give me food, the hungry. You only cook for my wife. Eh? Asoli. What do you want to eat? Give me food, make I chop. What do you want to eat that I don't have? Eh? All this one that I've packed. And all this one that I'm busy with. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, she ain't come. I say I like this your stomach now. Eh? Make you let us do eat this stomach together. You're not even looking at my side. Now, so that they try. Eh? You want to eat food? Eh? Me that I'm here, go eat this food now. Eh? I don't they show you the break glasses. Uh, you're just there as if uh, you can see what I saw here. I say I like this stomach. Let us throw the stomach together. If you do cut it now, everything they do, you know, powerful. Everything supporting each other. <laughs> oh, Lord. Do my own now. Let's rub on me. I mean, go give me food. What is your problem? You know be my spec. Spec? Yes. You know my spec. I like them. I like sweet things. Spec for lower. Where? Spec for lower. What is your fancy? Tia Roba. Ah. Tia Roba. Eh. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong, Tia Roba? So, no. It's not a Tia Machine. I don't know any food job. Where was that? This one? What's it there for this one? You are missing. I don't know any food job. Don't give me food job. Don't give me what you want. Don't give me food job. Don't give me what you want. Don't give me Welcome viewers, this is Planet Today. I am Abishala Ife. With me today is a very beautiful woman, <laughs> a lawyer, a child rights activist, and this is our first on-camera interview. Join me as I welcome Barrister Zara Phillips. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Okay, as you know, the world is captivated with the trending news of your fight against child rape. Correct. The big question going on regarding this is, will you be able to stop child abuse in future? <laughs> Single-handedly? Not possible. But you see, every year, millions of girls and boys all over the world are being sexually abused and exploited. Yeah. It's become a scourge of the earth and should not be tolerated. So if we really believe that children are our future and they will hope for better tomorrow, then yes, it's attainable. Okay, from your experience, what do you have to say to the issues of public health professionals and the challenges they face regarding this? It's of note that the child and family services, the states and federal governments, law enforcement, everybody, high low, everybody, is highly, have a highly vital role to play in ending these wicked acts that plague us. But we don't see anything from these sectors. Exactly my point. It's possible the issue they face in this has been the inability to expand the private and the public sector funding for research, for training, you know, appropriate level of advocacy required and prevention. Yeah. Honestly, see, child abuse and neglect is a complex problem that is rooted in unhealthy relationships and environments. So, preventing it 
it has to take all the sectors. Everybody, high, low, small, big, everybody has to be on board. Okay? Relational, family, communities, it includes everyone. Okay, so what has been your inspiration and what do you have to say to victims that are scared to speak up or that has refused to come out and speak out? I was a victim when I was very young and um, I was graced to, of being old, I, I was helped by my mentor, my foster mom and I had very good friends around me. So they inspired me and I drew a lot of strength, still drawing that strength from those relationships. So I would say to you that has been victimized, you that you feel alone, you, you cannot talk to anyone, you cannot share your experience, please open up to somebody. Speak out. If you feel somebody would laugh at you or mock you, don't. Somebody somewhere needs to hear you. Somebody somewhere needs to move on because of your testimony, because of what you go through and how bold and brave you were to speak. And we as you know people, we, we need to sympathize and help them when we hear such stories, exactly. And not mock, mock them or stigmatize them. What's wrong? Sarah. I look tired. I am. Oh, you walk so hard and it's showing on your face. <laughs> it's a job. Or do you want me to stop? Ah, no, I understand. You have to look the devil in the eye. I was there, remember? You know, from the first time I set my eyes on you, I knew you were special. And that was why I sent you to Harvard to go and study law. Not because I saw so much of me in you, but because you're Zara. I have watched you fight for this women, raped children. You even care for them more than you care for yourself. I see a new, stronger, and even better version of me in you. I couldn't be more proud. God bless you. Zara, hmm. promise me, okay? I want you to promise me that you're going to be more careful out there. Please, promise I me. I promise. Okay. Yes. Can we go to bed now? I'm tired. Yes. I've had a Now long I can. Let me help you with this. Thank you. I can go and have a good night. <laughs>
Hello, Kule. Guy, how far now? What's up? Uh, listen, uh, I need favor from you. No, this one will be business. This is a confidential matter. Just you and me. Okay. Uh, I didn't hear you. Uh, you get one guy. I need previous to now. And uh, ex-convict, he just come out of prison. Well, actually, he didn't come out uh, six months ago. But he has come out of hiding now. His name is Chinua Obonna. Maintainer for me, I beg. Okay, you know what's going to happen, eh? Just send me the guy I did his map put off my phone. He has a scarred face. You need a brief history on him. Just collect everything you know about him. No, oh, no, no. I will do on him right now. Eh? Woke up later. No problem. Yeah, thanks a lot. She's not around. I want to collect something from her to give my mother. Oh, really? Uh, maybe she's not yet back from her shop. Uh, you, you, you can wait for her. You can wait for her. Just sit down and wait for her. Okay? Sit. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, if you want anything, go on. Can you use the fridge? You are, you are, you are not a stranger anymore. <laughs> That's what? Okay. I can organize something. No, I'm fine. You're fine. Thank okay. You. Just feel all relaxed. Feel at home. Okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, I'm so sorry, Haja. I hope you don't mind. Ah, oh, it's fine. Bye, Master. Is everything okay? Because it sounded apprehensive. Um, I need um, I need a legal advice. You know, uh, several years ago, before the say crack down on overseas payments to foreign government officials, we created a fund which is domiciled in a Swiss bank account in the name of the company owned by us. Although the fact of uh, ownership is not public knowledge, the fund was created in nearly right of purchase of equipment, which was never done in the course of any of our subsidiaries due to government site enforcement policy. I advise my husband that we should liquidate the fund, which is now in excess of $4 million. Um, the problem is, anyway, we choose to liquidate it now without following the previous mode of payment will show large expenditure without them uh, without legitimate record. My question is um, can we make this payment? Is there a way we can make this payment without with me in record. Haja, it's a whole private country. Hey, yes. Okay. I would like you for just to come because I have various questions I want to ask him as you guys perform. Okay. Then I would advise that you create various programs, okay, as you have developed already for disposing of the funds, then we can now come in and tell you what to expect as a consequence of that such product. But what do you mean by consequence? Hadja, you don't expect to report four million as a profit of foreign subsidiaries. I mean we should be able to explain, you know, tell you of what to expect. You know, for said subsidiary, that particular subsidiary and its history, we should be able to tell you how to report or what to report and what the red flag will be. Haji, are you okay? How are you? How 
Yes, eh? Fine. I was in this class. So, sorry, so, so I have another assignment. Oh, bring it, bring it up. <laughs> What is it about? Social studies? Yes, and mathematics as well. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay. was over a very long time ago when life showed me the beginning of the hand my heart was broken and my mother was crushed i had nowhere to run to and nowhere to call my own i was abused misused denied criticized my voice didn't matter oh yeah i have to live again got your food make me wanna no test of this food you know, specially prepared for you. I really love it. Hmm? Please, please, I, I want to go home. You know, you can just eat this food. Have a taste. So you have strength so that you can wait for me. So I can <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 
Let you just eat this food though. But you don't be like say I don't know nice to you. Oh. Don't try me, oh. If you try me, I go, I go, I go. I might be nice to you, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not like that, you know. I'm such a nice, loving man. I'm just overwhelmed by your beauty. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. So, I will take you. I will have you one more. One more and more and more. Until I'm satisfied. <laughs> <sighs> sorry, let me, let me let me get you water. I'm so sorry. It's not me. I love you. It's your food. Baby, I love you. It's your food. I'm coming. Make you chop this food. Then now, I'm going to put that on my here. Somebody had a very bad day today. Okay. You want to talk about it? Yes. Okay. Mrs. Sambo, she was in my office today for legal advice. But the way she left my office, something tells me she'll never take me serious again. Zara, mm? you're not new in this game. You have to be prepared. Stand up and say what you know. In this place, that's all that matters. And then the little mistake, you know, the day. <laughs> Don't worry about Mrs. Sambo. She has been my friend for decades. And I know how complicated she can get. How is that young man, Inaya? Hey, he's fine. He invited me to his place tomorrow for dinner. Yeah, it looks like someone is going to have a good time. <laughs> yes, I will. Yes, I know. That oh. young man loves you. Mm. I still don't <laughs> understand why you turned down his proposal. You're oh. not getting any younger, Zara. I know. You need the man who loves you and will stand by you. And then you know is that man for me. Hmm? I know. Um, it's just, you know. Just what? I'm not there yet. I'm not ready. <laughs> Zara. Hmm? 
Love is embracing your hopes, fears, dreams, and pains. Embracing what is and what could be. When I look at you and that young man, that's what I see. Mm -hmm. hmm? Okay, but you will. I'll give it a thought. I'll think about it. I'm tired. Zara <laughs> Kena. How can she sound so nonchalant? Albaraka chin kaza, kadangari yach and rowan kasko. Asking about my husband. What for? Sepia, Pahakaba. See, she is a professional lawyer like myself. And if you need a professional advice, you will have to tell her everything she needs to know. How can you? Day. But not my husband. Dan Allah. Kanadina, your case is not one who only needs professional advice. Huh? Kuma, you will need a lawyer to defend you in the court of law. Benganiba, what do you mean? Who is going to court? The government is not yet on our neck. The reason we are seeking legal advice is so that when they remember us, we will not be in trouble. <laughs> Sepia, Kendas. Sepia, is that what you think? Hmm? G, Sepia, the EFCC is already making moves, huh? and they are doing underground arrests. Soon come. What do you think happened to Alaji Razak? God for a day. You mean he was arrested? Sylvia. You think that he just disappeared? Oh, yeah. Zara is your best bet for now. When the government comes, they will soon hit. If you want to come out of this happy and clean, go back to Zara. <laughs> Clearly, you don't have confidence in my little powers and not the ability for me to defend you. Moreover, I wouldn't want to defend a cause that will seem unfair to the public. Her. Firstly, I have great confidence in your legal prowess. But um Puma, when you asked to see my husband, I was worried. But I really need to do that if you want me to do a good job. I need to speak to him because I need full detail of the deal. I cannot go to the court and be surprised. No, that won't be. My husband, he is in town. Ama, he is in trouble. And he will not be able to come and see you. Ama, I have an idea. What if I call him on video? Would that be alright? Perfect. Yeah. We need your wisdom and your expertise in this matter, sir. It's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. So, you can have a good day. Very good girl. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I'm asking is let's just go to the lake house for the weekend. You know, just chill out and relax and you know, do stuff. I mean, relieve some stress and you know, let all the stresses of the week leave us. What do you say? I like that. Just got back from a meeting now and I'm so tired. Okay. Yeah, I understand. You're tired. Okay, so maybe you rest tonight and then tomorrow, you know, could... Um... Hey, you know, you're not going to like this. I met with Mr. Johnson, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Human Rights Commission, and he wants me to see him tomorrow as well. You're joking. Yeah, you're right. I don't like it. But you have to do what you have to do. I am proud of you. I've been preparing for this my whole life. And now the opportunity is here. I don't want to waste it. I really, really, really want to do this. Yeah, you should. Go for it. I'm with you 100%. Gosh, I'm starving. I hope you're sitting down with the rice and chicken on the table. You foodie. I can smell it. <laughs> now I know you're a big liar. A big liar because I just stepped in the door and I haven't reached the kitchen yet. Okay? But yes, I am going to have rice and chicken. Okay. I gotta go. You take care, okay? Bye. Alright, dear. You take care. Good night. Yes, I am starving. I'm so surprised to see you. <laughs> you did okay? Hmm? I'll be for life making an entire side kitchen go prepare something for you so that your body will come down. Hmm? <laughs> Alright, no wala. I'm not going to enter anywhere. Hmm? But I'll do something for you. I'll give you something to make you feel alright. Let's with me. Lick sweet now. You know what lick sweet? Ah, okay, you know what lick the one where I don't put my mouth, eh? My mouth is smell like me. No, Allah. No, Allah. Take this one. I'm fine. I don't want anything. No. You don't want sweet. Are you sure you don't want sweet? <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. The old crafty devil. 
is acting all afraid. <laughs> is that even possible? Hmm? All right, no, Allah. I'm going to ask you a question. Hmm. You should think before you answer it. Did you send someone after me? No, I didn't. Are you dumb? No, I did not. No! That is a worry you! Huh? You betrayer! After everything I did for you, you're the reason I went to prison. You betrayed me. You handed me over to the police. Huh? You thought that I wouldn't come out, right? Did you, you count on it? You raped me! Shut up! Shut up! You are still my wife! You say I raped you! I raped you! We were dating! Weren't we? We talked about it. And you forgave me. We got married. You were supposed to protect me! But this time, what did you do? You betrayed me. You handed me over to the police. You know you were. You were losing your mind. You were losing your mind. You were going up and down, raping little girls. I had to do something to protect you. Somebody at my door. You go check who's looking for you. We'll finish up with this later. Imagine if you didn't go back to her. Hmm? Your pride would have cost you your case. What do you mean the case? Money? Jail time? Yeah, who knows what I would have looked in jail? Well, like, my Zara is a very fine lawyer. The finest that you can find around here. How can I thank you, Aisha? Hmm? In a good dear girl, Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Eh? <laughs> Without you, I don't know what I would Thank you. Eh, Good day, Allah. Eh. She, how did you meet her? I know she's a Manta Kowe is a long story. Come, let's go inside and celebrate your victory. <laughs> <laughs> So she asked me this very deep, very, very deep soul-searching question. Um, she said, what is the most holy 
most sacred and most powerful of all ceremonies. And so I began to recount all the ceremonies I'd been to all around the world. And when I was done with the, the um, sun dance, the sweat lodge, and the, um, uh, what, I've forgotten the other one, but when I finished all of them, she calmly looked at me and said, the most holy, the most sacred, and the most powerful of all ceremonies is childbirth. I see. Because, according to her, that is a crucible of life where all life comes from. True. It was absolutely profound. But that was it. Is there someone at the door? Hello. Hey. How are you? Oh. Hey, how are you? Very well. Welcome back. Thank you. And congratulations. Oh, thanks. Did he tell you he got a promotion at the foundation? No. Oh. <laughs> he was just talking about his grandmother and the most holy, oh, yeah. the most sacred, <laughs> and the most powerful of ceremonies. Yes. Whatever. Really? Oh, <laughs> ah, good to see you guys. Good to see you too. And uh, welcome back. So good to see you. Thank you. No, I couldn't just resist it. I had to see her. Seeing her, she doesn't look her age at, at all. At all. <laughs> Lucky me. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for checking up on her. Hey, hey. Love you. Make me wanna love. love the world again. No prayers. Baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, baby, baby, hey, baby, baby, ah, 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 baby, this is not, baby, please don't do this to me, hey. Insist, but we'll still go to the lake house tomorrow. Okay. I have a good barbecue fish here waiting for you. You like fish, don't you? No. You don't? No. Uh, octopus? Squid? Shark! Shark! <laughs> <laughs> Who 
Inspector Tunde Bagi. Are you Mr. Solomon Kapo? Yes. You are under arrest for the sudden disappearance of Mary Ensho. Yes, Mr. Solomon, anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Papa, Officer, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who is Mary Ensho. Officer, I don't know who is Mary Ensho. You know. Take him away. Officer, Take I, him away. I, I, I'm innocent. Move! Move! And now, Nigeria, young women have died at the hands of murderous rapists, animals, while many more still faced such dangers but may never be able to report. These are sparked protests against rape and violence against women online thus far. Now, the 2014 National Survey on Violence Against Children in Nigeria reveals that one in four women have experienced sexual violence in childhood. One in four women in their childhood have experienced sexual violence, with over 70% of them reporting more than one incident. Over 70 percent of them have experienced this more than one time. Of the 24.8 percent of women aged uh, between 18 and 24 who have experienced sexual abuse before the age of 18, mm. only a tiny 5 percent sought help. Why is it difficult for rape victims to help? No. 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 And just 5% no. 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 Seventeen-year-old yeah. Mary, a secondary school leaver. Mm. We have uh, Miss Henshaw, mm. the victim's mother. Then we have um, Solomon, the perpetrator of the crime. And then the strongest witness being Eniola, okay. the neighbor. Oh. Now, the strength of our witness lies in the fact that she's, um, for lack of a better word, obsessed with Mr. Solomon with a view to dating him. And as such, she follows every female visitor that comes into his house. Now, on this particular day, she actually witnessed the victim going into the house with uh, the perpetrator, right? With a view to waiting for her to come out so she could have her chance to go in to see the man. She waits and keeps a keen eye on the girl's exit, which never happens. So that leads us to the crime scene, where we find evidence of blood lust, evidence in the 
lot of issues and yeah. strong signs of violence. However, we're not afraid. Whoever is having this case must also be brought here because the strongest evidence the defense will bring would be there's no body. No, at all. Yes. So wow. it's, it's still a work in progress. I mean, who knows? Everything will turn up. So you have this scenario being presented before you. What do you think? I'll take the case. You take it? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, uh, my name is Zara and I'm the lawyer in charge of your daughter's case, Mary. Please, is it possible for us to meet tomorrow in the morning? There's something very important we need to talk about. Okay, thank you very much. I want to live my life again Just to be loved, Love is all that can heal my wound. Loving you is in me. Hey, loving you is in me. Love the world again. How time flies. Oh, you too, you too. Please, thank you so much. Thank you. How are you doing? Oh, I'm looking, I'm great, I'm fine. Has it been long you've been out there? Yes, I actually started wondering maybe you were not around because I've been calling and your phone wasn't connected. Ah. My bathroom was dead. Oh. I'm so, so sorry. It's so good to see you. Oh my God, it's good to see you too. Please, may I offer you something? No, I'm fine. I'm actually in a hurry. But really? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh God, you really look great. You look, you look good, yes, gorgeous, you elegant, you. rich. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Are you with someone? I heard a voice from outside. Mm. Don't mind me. I have this crazy habit of watching my television with the volume oh. so loud. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, it's so good to see. You. It is. My Mary, she was, whenever she saw you on television, she wanted so much to be like you someday. Would anybody kill my angel? Would anybody kill my my cherubic Mary? Whoever that devil was raped her, Jazz. killed her. It's okay, calm down, okay? That's why I'm here. 
to ensure you get justice for your name. Okay? But first, you have to help me answer some questions. Questions? Yes. When was the last time you saw me? It's been five days now. Himself. Yes. Do you know him or have you seen him somewhere before? No. Yes. Okay. I saw. I met him in a pharmaceutical shop. I went to buy drugs. I saw your missed calls. I hope no problem. Or have you accepted my request? Um, Chief Solomon, please. Is there no other way? What is there? It's just a simple thing. I love your daughter, and your daughter is very beautiful. <laughs> I just want her. Oh! My daughter is only 17 years old. She's still a minor. Come on, Mrs. Jasmine. 17 is an adult. Yes. Look, do you know that my sister's daughter got married at 14? You want no one to that brother who said drunk my wine at 14? Can you feel that because if I don't want? Jasmine. Huh? Nana, I'm a neighbor. Nana, I'm a Mabel is a single mother. And I'm a Mabel is a single girl. I know those people that are also giving you money are people working for me. And this house you are in, I also know that the rent by the spider so And there will be no money to pay. <laughs> yes! Or do you have any money to pay for your rent? Just a call. I'll be right there at your back and call. Oh, where you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's your business, you try. And I heard uh, business that your beauty shop is already suffering. I will help you revive it. Mommy, I'm going go, Papa, I'm going go. You will go. Where does it chair free? Oh, yeah, forget. Oh, yeah, forget. Oh, no, I'm going to go to the Why are you wasting time to give me your daughter? Why are you even thinking it twice? If I be if I they put it on full way, eh? Just me. You need to think about it. Yes. I'm here for you and your daughter. And I'm going to change your lives. Only for you. And ask your Kwanongi to pay me back. Because he brought no spare, eh? It's just for you to enjoy. Ebasa, ekusoba. I have businesses all over Nigeria. In Alimi. Just one night. Just one night. Just one night. Just one night. What will you do now? Two million. If you get my address, reply I am with your account number. And later he made it a threat that because I rejected his offer that, that he was going to deal with me. What are you doing in my house? Did you kill with my price? Which useless price. Oh, it's my daughter you're calling your price. My friend, listen to me. 
I cannot do what you asked me to do. Let this be the first and the last time you will come near my daughter or near my house. Take your useless check. You get through my money. My too. friend, get out. You will regret this. <laughs> Poverty. Ah, so no mama she buy us me. Go, the ground is going to be hot under your feet. Oh no, don't stop me. Never know how to do you. This place, the ground will hot under your feet. I didn't know he was going to make good his threat. Why would he... He raped my daughter. Why would he kill... Why would he kill my daughter? You know what? This entire thing is my fault. No. It is my fault. It is not your fault. I should not have let Mary go to Eniola's house in the first place. It's not your fault. Who was I thinking? I mean, Who was I thinking? See, she should come home. Okay. She'll tell me there was this uncle who was helping her with her tutorials. Hi, mommy. I'm fine. Mom, I'm sorry I'm home late. I had to go for my dance practice immediately after my classes. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, well, let me jump this. wrong with you? I mean, for the past few days you've been, you've been sad. You've been moody. I mean, what's going on? Your business is, your business is not even moving. Is everything okay? Yes, my dear. Every, everything is fine. <laughs> not something that mommy can't handle. On that Just time, but down. no, I, I didn't take it to mean anything. Who was I thinking? What was I thinking? Why was I killed my daughter? Stop. I, I, is someone here? No, not at all. I, I was actually doing the dishes before you came, so I ran out to, you know, open the door. I, I guess I didn't place one of the plates. Well, it's maybe okay. that's what happened. Let's go. Let me help you clean up. Are you, are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. You know I'm here alone. I, I'll do the chores. It's nothing. It's okay. <laughs> Sarah, please, I beg you, help me get Child. justice for my daughter. Please help me find my daughter. I'll try my best. It's okay. Stop, 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 stop <laughs> this, okay? You know, uh, I have to run now, but I will keep in touch, okay? Please. So please, just know that you can always come here, okay? <laughs> Any information you need. Make me wanna leave again. Leave again. Leave again. Leave again. Make me wanna come alive. Alive again. Alive again. Alive again. I wanna leave again. Make me wanna leave. Leave again. Leave again. Leave again. Make me wanna come alive. Come alive. Alive
was clothed, wasn't it? You know, I must say that I'm quite impressed with the way you lie so well. I think this is a joke, right? Please, leave. Who's Mary? There's nothing in my life that is your business. Leave right now. <laughs> Someone finally found her voice. Not until I'm finished with what brought me. Do you think I'm afraid of you? You actually think that I'm afraid of you? You psychopathic rapist. Get out of my house! Hey! 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 hey. I would ask you one last time. Come on. You better answer me why I swear this will be your last breath. Who's Mary? It's true. What? Everything you heard is is true. Mary's your daughter. I found out I was pregnant when you were in prison. But I... I kept lying to her that you died when I had her. But here you are now. I have a daughter. Yes. You do have a daughter. And you know what? Another man raped her just like you did to me and so many other ladies out there. And right now, she's nowhere to be found. So you have feelings. had a heart. So now you know how it feels. Come on, you bitch. You brought this up. Chinua, you brought this up. Shut 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 up. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. You fool. You, you, you kept my daughter away from me for 15 years and you can't talk to me in that manner. Damn you! Stop. Pray. Pray that I find that rapist and my daughter's corpse. I swear to God, there will be a murder and you will be the victim. You hear me? You asked me to do a profile on um, Chinua Obona, right? Okay. Are you ready for the worst? Is it that bad? Guy. That guy picture no clear. No clear at all. Alright, um, at the age of 20, he lost his mom and dad. Spent five years in Saika. Was discharged from the military, from the force, for assault. What kind of assault? Rape. All sorts. Even in the military? Even in the military. Guy. That guy is very, very dangerous. I discovered that he may have dealings with a Miss Henshaw and my instincts are not wrong. I think she's in danger right now. 
My advice as a security expert is this. Guy, you cast to be very, very careful. I hit you! You're a bastard! Ah. Do it, do it, do it. Ah. Sir, what's the matter? Uh. Huh? What's the matter? What's I the matter? Hate him. I, I hate him. I could kill him myself. Who? Who else? Chino, I just, I was scrolling through my phone and I saw his picture. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing will happen to you, okay? Not as long as I'm here. I'm not allowing anything to happen to you, okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. For my life, what happened now? What's you define? Solomon, Mr. Solomon, I heard he lives here. Where do I find him? It's only you that have not here in this worldwide of this country that they don't go arrest this man. Eh? You don't know that they have come to arrest him for sleeping with small picking. Where you have you been living before? I beg, make you tell me under this man. Where did they take him to? Eh, you are me. Follow me. I got me the one more It's my police station. Because I'm I'm there of all the DPO. So it's me that will know where they take him to. Follow me. It's my police station. I will take you here. After you. Come on, bring back Papa. You disturbing somebody pissing. You have to give us a letter now. Ah. I'm taking your calls. My call? Mm hmm. Oh. I must have been with Kunle. I was going through stuff with him. So, how are you doing? Mm. You know. I had a bad experience when I was younger. I watched my father 
throw my mother from the top of a flight of stairs. My mother fell two stories down to her death. What? What? Oh my god, baby, I didn't know. Hey, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. It's okay. It's okay. Are you, are you for real? Yes. Wow. But... I'm so sorry. Oh, so it happened a long time ago. I was 12 at the time, so... Oh my god. I've never really forgotten that incident. But I've pushed it behind me. And um, I've used it to form my habit of protecting vulnerable people from then on. I'm sorry. And that's why I believe in you. Everyone goes through their own traumas. But we decide what to do with them and you have decided to help the vulnerable ones. And that's why you took on this case. I know you have what it takes. If you need any support, I am here for you. Just as I know, you will be here for me. <laughs> hey sunshine. Hey. It's cracking the case. Putting puzzles. How are you? Better. Mm. Coffee. Yes, please. Coming right away. Thank you. So how are you feeling now? My neck hurts. <laughs> Whatever. So you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. I am hot. I know you're ready. And I know you're going to win this case. So all you need to do now is let the judge see what I see. This is how I see. Thanks. So, shall we? Yes. I pray too. That's another friend. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fools. It was my child, my own child, that you ripped and killed just before I could meet her. I am the one to take vengeance, not any court, no police force. How else can I get to him? Who else knows the location of this Mr. Solomon? Chinua, please, let me be. Leave me alone. I am a bereaved woman. Please, allow me Shut to monitor up! Child. Shut up! Shut the hell up! You caused this! All of this! You caused it all! Know this. I will kill you before I go back to jail again.
make a sound and I will split your throat. Now look at me. Zara, <laughs> what a great reunion. You? Yeah, me. You will tell me where I can find the witness who killed my daughter. Otherwise, I swear to me for a second time, I will ravage you for a Mary is your daughter. She's better off than having a dog for a father. Tell me what I asked! I don't have anything to tell you. You will. Get into this car. Get into this car. I said, get into the car. Hey, you! You! Come! Come here! Come! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. You touch? Okay, it's okay. I was just calling to find out how you're doing. I wanted to be sure that you're fine. Not to worry. Badamwa, badamwa. You can stay there for as long as you like. Hmm? I'll be here waiting for you whenever you want to come. Alright, baby. I love you. Congratulations. Stop asking too many questions. I don't want to eat. Oh. Mm, please, please. I'm stressed. Please do not add to it. You know, this behavior of yours is not helping in any way. Are you attacking me too? No, I'm not attacking you. I'm just saying, asking if you're the kind that just folds once the battle gets tough. Really? You're asking me that question? Well, I'm not, I'm not asking you that question. I'm just saying the truth is better. Listen, the truth either kills you or makes you stronger. It's your choice. I mean, are you telling me I'm just going to fold under pressure? I know you, Sarah. You have that fire in you, I see it. I'm trying so hard. I mean, this is one of the reasons I took the case. It's getting to me. It shouldn't. You have what it takes. What do I do? Just do what you started doing in the first place. This is how you started off. What motivated you? These children being sacrificed at the altar of rape all the time. <laughs> you just win it one step at a time. This is your victory. You were born for this. Tired. <laughs> it's okay. One step at a time. Remember, it's not about winning. It's all about finishing. And the victory is yours. <laughs> the defense counsel has a strong case. They are saying since there was nobody, there was no rape. Yeah, well, um, granted, the defense counsel has a very strong case. But there might be a surprise around the corner, you never know. How do you mean? I would have seen to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
This is Abisola Chikwe, reporting live at the Federal High Court compound, where the case of Mr. Solomon, the alleged rape and murder of one Miss Mary Ancient. So today we're going to be we're going to conclude on the how, what, and where this case will be going to, and then we. Hi, madam. So we have been going forth and back on this rape case between Mary and Mr. Solomon Okafo, and we understand that today is the final hearing. How confident are you that you are going to win this case? Please tell us. Um, I've made my final submission as did the defense counsel. So right now we're waiting for the judge to come and give his final verdict. You know, we we'll hope and pray that everything goes. You know. Okay. So are you? Do you have the confidence that? You're going to win this case, or you're not going to win? I leave it up for the judge to decide. Okay. So right now, you don't know if the case is moving forward, or we're just going to... Excuse me. Ah, yeah. uh, hello, the ah, yeah. counsel. Yeah. Please, can you tell us the, pro the progress of this case so far, and are you confident that your client is going to come out trying to this case? Um, we've made our final submission to the judge. Are you confident that you're going to win this case? Yeah. 100% on night. Okay. Um, Mr. Solomon, with the way the courts, with what is going on in the court right now, are you confident that you are going to win this case? Are you so sure you are innocent of this case? Yes, I'm very, very sure. As a matter of fact, um, I'm innocent. And uh, there is no case over me. <laughs> you know, the prosecuting counsel has no case over me. And in no due time, the judge will be uh, giving his final uh, verdict on the case, and I'll be free, and I'll be discharged, and I'll so be a free man. So you're very confident that you're going to win the case? Yeah, of course. My, 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 my defense counsel has yeah. already told you that the judge is working on the uh, final verdict. Yeah, we are very, very, very sure that we're going to get okay, out. So My name is Mary, and I am the victim. Mr. Solomon here raped me. On that fateful day, I went to his house, and I drank a glass of juice. I became unconscious. Mr. Solomon here took me to the room and raped me. Hmm. Not once, not twice, but several times. Hmm. I couldn't take it anymore. I cried. I pleaded with him. I was bleeding. Huh. I was begging. He raped me to the extent that I passed out only to wake up and I found myself being tied by the roadside. That was when Mrs. Sambo rescued me. Oh, my sister. You. Are you confident that your lawyer is going to win this case? Yes. Yes. Because justice will take its course. I want justice. I want Mr. Solomon to pay for everything he made me go through. Hmm. Okay, so you're confident right now that your lawyer is going to win this case? Yes, I am. Okay. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, now there's a twist in this case. What is the next action? Um, we're gonna go inside and I'll make a formal request to present her as a witness. Then we hope that justice is served. Okay, so right now there's confidence that you might win the case. Let's see what happens. Make me wanna leave. Leave again. Leave again. Leave again. Make me wanna come alive. Alive again. I wanna leave again. I thought my life was over a very long time ago when life showed me the beginning of Congratulations. <laughs> Good day, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I told you you're the real <laughs> ball pasta. Oh. It's been a day, a good day. <sighs> that girl's story was so inspiring. I haven't heard anything like that in my entire life. Yes. Mama? Ma'am? Thank you very much. Without you, I wouldn't be here. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. Zara, it's nothing. I am proud of the woman that you have become now. And I love you. <laughs> I, I love, love you too. too. Okay. <laughs> I'm already celebrating in my house. Oh yeah. I'll tell you I wanna leave again. I want to leave my life. Thank you all so much. I'm so so grateful. Honestly, I am so honored and humbled to you know being awarded this. I'm being in the midst of you great people, okay? I sincerely want to express my gratitude and admiration to my mentor, my foster mom, Mrs. Aisha Abubakar. My dear friend, in uh, the entire Save the Child Foundation, and my beautiful friend, journalist here. You guys are the real heroes. Thank you so, so much. You know, I believe that every child deserves a future, a chance to grow, to learn and to explore in safety. You know, free from every sexual assault. Before I joined this fight a few years back, I was greatly inspired by a book written by my mom and it really guarded me against child abuse and sexual harassment. Simply put, every girl deserves a chance to look forward to motherhood. Thank you. <laughs> and now without further ado, we will raise a toast. Is a... Uh, young man, please come in. Good day, everybody. So I'm looking for Miss Zara Phillips. I have a delivery for her. I'm here. Oh. You have to, sorry. You have to sign this. Everything okay? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Will you do me the honor of being my wife? 